Thyroid surgery typically involves a thyroid... Progressive cancers may be treated by removal of one of the lobes, the isthmus, and a variable part of the opposite lobe. The parathyroid glands that regulate calcium as well as the recurrent laryngeal nerve that runs behind the thyroid, supplying the larynx or voice box, are identified and preserved as far as possible. After removal of the tissue, a small tube, catheter, is inserted at the site to drain accumulated blood and fluids. The incisions are then closed with sutures. Post-operative care. Following the surgery, you will be taken to the recovery room and monitored carefully. You will have a drain tube coming from the incision to allow drainage and prevent fluid accumulation. Your doctor will prescribe medications to help alleviate pain and discomfort. You will begin on a liquid diet the day after surgery and progress to solid foods as tolerated. The sutures are usually removed seven to 10 days after surgery. Before leaving the hospital, you will be taught how to care for your incision. Patients who have their entire thyroid gland removed will require thyroid replacement medication for life. And sometimes when just one lobe is removed. Risks and complications. As with all surgical procedures, thyroid surgery may be associated with certain risks and complications, such as bleeding, infection, damage to the parathyroid glands, damage to nerves leading to speech, and swallowing difficulties. Thyroidectomy is a surgery performed to remove all or part of the thyroid gland as part of the treatment for thyroid conditions and thyroid cancer. Lifelong maintenance medication may be required depending on the type of surgery performed.